Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm gonna be using some styrofoam. This is just a leftover piece that I have. And also I'm gonna be using these pieces of foamy paper, also leftover pieces actually from my previous project. Some foamy paper Halloween witches hats that I did. But yeah, I need three pieces of those ones. And I need my part in the middle to be bigger than the top and the bottom part. So I'm just gonna be cutting them accordingly to the size of my styrofoam. And then I'm gonna be gluing them using like some school glue, white school glue, the regular kind. I let them overnight until they were pretty settled in there. I'm gonna be measuring the middle part of this because we essentially need well, a candy corn but like a triangle. Then I'm gonna be using this round cookie cutter shapes. You can use a glass, doesn't really actually matter. I'm just using this ones because I have them next to me and like the kitchen is downstairs. But I'm gonna be marking the round edges and then I'll just use my ruler to join the three edges together. Obviously I won't need this for the bottom part, the bottom line, just for the two top lines. Then we're gonna be using an exacto knife to cut this. And the easiest way to cut this is just first going on top like this, like tracing my way where I'm gonna be cutting them, and then just working like on the edge of my table just so that the exacto knife goes all the way through. It's actually really easy and really relaxing actually. Just make sure your cutter is sharp enough and just make sure you're just on top of that line so it goes like straight. Now I'm going to be covering the edges as well. So for that I'm just going to be measuring how thick my styrofoam is and then just basically trace a measurement and then just cut that. These are like stripes. So I'm just going to be making a few stripes of foamy paper and then just using my white glue glue to glue them on the edges. And this is the best way to just glue anything to to uh, styrofoam by the way because using super glue or a hot glue gun they're gonna melt it then this is optional but i'm gonna be making a base so it stays on its own but just taking this leftover piece and just pretty much making the line straight cutting them and then just making sure it fits and i'm also going to be gluing this on the back and i didn't glue it like um on the edge if that makes sense i just left a centimeter like for space so that when you place it it will lean a bit to the back of it because i'm going to be painting the back as well i added a thin layer of glue now i'm going to be sharing two designs of this the first one is like the bright and like junk version of this so i'm starting with some white yellow and orange painting each section to the color of like candy corns on the sides as well one thing that i should have done though that the lines that are like uh, separating the three colors were on the sides as well so this is what it looks like like this hopefully it actually looks like a candy corn like a huge one and this is again i'm sharing two options this is like the vibrant one and more youthful really out of the two so i just wanted to share with this one uh, before i move on to the next one just in case you wanted something more colorful really but now we're going to be taking this to the like opposite side of this making this old looking and really rustic giving the illusion that it was like abandoned and also don't mind my right thumb won't get to tmi but i actually cut my nail so this is going to be my thumb until it heals and looks better but thankfully i found this really cute animal bandages because apparently i'm eight and skin looking ones are just too boring for me but i'm going to be using this brown acrylic paint i actually do have the diy for this one i custom made it myself so if you like the shade of brown check it out it's actually really easy to make it's really handy to know how to do this and i think it's really handy to know how to do certain colors i actually have a playlist on like few other acrylic paint shades that i've done pistachio pinks and other shades so if you're into like acrylic paint and just like to experiment with it just check it out i actually really like acrylic paint i like color and i like creating shades but yeah back to this one like i actually really didn't know what how to do this so i pretty much dragged the paint all over the edges first and then just start dragging it towards the center it actually helps and makes it look better if your brush is dry at the beginning because that is going to be creating like more obvious looking strokes rather than just like blended you know what i mean so yeah the blending is not going to be like perfect but if you want a perfect blending just work with a sponge but yeah i went back and forth using dry brushes for the edges and then brushes with either paint or just other brushes for like the center part and to just blend everything and just smooth the whole thing with either more paint or just clean brushes like i uh, washed with soap and watered brush then just went ahead with that one in some parts i used my fingers 
And also you're going to be needing a surface to one project your table in just two to remove the excess paint that you have in the brush. I do have the review for this matte craft if you want to check it out. It's actually really handy and quite saint at this point because I use it a lot. And yeah, as you can see going back and forth when I feel like I went too far with my brown. And what else guys? Pretty much going step by step. And I also did the sides. Now I have to be honest here, the sides were a lot trickier to paint than the front part because the front part you have like a lot more space to work with. That small space make it a bit more tricky because it was so limited. I didn't have a lot of room to just move the brush. So so it created a nice effect and so the edges actually took me a while longer but I think it looks kind of like matching with the front part but if not um, it's okay because they're gonna be on the sides anyways. Lastly I painted the back with my brown acrylic paint. I didn't really did a great job with it because it's gonna be on the back anyways and also the front isn't perfect either so it doesn't make any sense right to just have the back perfect and the front vintage or just old looking. But yeah guys, this is what this other version of this one looks like and I actually really love it. Hopefully it doesn't look like a traffic cone. When I was painting this and working with it, I was like, mm, does it look like a traffic cone? Is it reminding me of that? But hopefully it doesn't. I think it looks really cute. Here I have it with the other Halloween decorations, my hat that I previously made and this other Halloween home decor plant that I did last year. And I actually really like it. I really like it. Hopefully you like it too on any of the versions of this ones. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out the other Halloween stuff that I have. I have actually a playlist and share this. More Halloween content coming your way. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.